walk onto the stage to face the rebel Ronnie Hybrex, a finalist on the Pro Tour this year. But Wilson has come back into a bit of form of late. Quarter finalist at the Gibraltar Darts Trophy final in Milton Keynes on the Pro Tour just a few short weeks ago. Are we about to see the former BDO number one go through another little purple patch as we saw at the back end of last year ahead of his run to the quarterfinals of the European Championship. The Jammy Dodger versus the Rebel. England versus Belgium. I'm Dan Dawson, Paul Nicholson alongside me in the commentary box for this one. Yeah, looking forward to this game. And you're right, he is very, very happy. He's brought a smile to all of our faces this afternoon. And if he is going to go a bit further in this tournament, he's got two big hurdles in front of him. First one being Ronnie Hybrex. If he does win this match, he'd play Mr. Sulevic. Mensor Sulevic, the top player from Austria. He'll be in action tomorrow when the other seeded players enter to the fray. Seeded number three for this weekend, Mensor Sulevic. And you would think that with a big crowd behind him, the hero of Austria Arts is going to be as formidable as ever on the Euro Tour stage. And it is pretty much the Euro Tour stage where Mensor Sulevic plays his best stuff. He's been astonishingly good last year second seed Legs at the European Championship first. game on but it's the Belgian who'll throw first in this one as Ronnie Hybrex one of the two Hybrex brothers in action this weekend outnumbered by the RJ Rods of course here in Austria Roby John Roxy James and Rusty Jake Rodriguez all in action today 66. all in action this evening it's an evening of RJ Rods here in Vienna I get the feeling you're lobbying for the RJ Rods action figures. Well, I would buy one. I would <laughs> buy three. I couldn't buy, you know, one action figure for every single RJ Rod because I don't have enough money. And there are millions. Well, I know you're a big fan of Ronnie Hybrex as well. 59. You'd probably buy that action figure. A lot of people would. Popular I've player, popular man. I've been whittling my own one out of a piece of wood over a period of months. What? Not quite got it to my satisfaction. Now there's an art form. Right. Whittling. One of the old school things from years gone. Old school dart player running Hybrex. Been around for ages. 60. Very much an old school type player. He's very methodical. You just see from the way that the youngsters throw. Fast, furious. Ronnie Hybrex is not like that. 91. He measures every dart he throws to great effect. Well, very nearly claimed his first PDC title. Twice he's made finals in the last few months. He actually had darts for the title. 134. In Dublin that Pro Tour weekend. Missed them against Simon Whitlock. That was where Whitlock began his renaissance. We will see Whitlock here this weekend, but we know he's been struggling with injury. Is it going to be the Simon Whitlock who's won a number of titles over the last few months, or is it the Whitlock we saw last time out when he just didn't really look particularly dangerous? Looked in pain. He had gaffer tape around his wrist. We shall see. Otherwise known as Australian kinesthetic tape. Well, yes. Change require 120. Shanghai finish for the Jammy Dodger. Tried to force his way past that first dart, 58. unable to do so. Ronnie, you require one. Tried to force in those darts, but even he couldn't get it past that one. But a different route for this 120 plus finish. Treble 18s it will be. That's a great first dart. Willie Gamble for another treble. Can't see yes or no, but we will see yes or no on Bullseye. 97. He's scared it. Change you require 62. May only get the one dart here, Wilson, but it is for a break of throw. The beauty. Double 16. Game shot Lovely first, stuff. Though. James Wilson, Wilson does break the high break throw and goes 1-0 up. Game on. Well, when you're playing well, Dan, the other things that you do, you only need two darts for 62. Things like 84, 81, you just pick them off so easily. And I think the biggest strength of the game of James Wilson is the scoring because when he gets his rhythm right, like he did... September, October last year. Mm -hmm. It was just predictable what he was going to do. He was so, so good, especially in Risa. I was very, very impressed with him in Risa. 
Yeah, the International Darts Open back in September. He made the semi-finals there. That came in a little run where we had three consecutive semi-finals. We see he does have this issue, James Wilson, where he gets a lot of darts just collide into ones that are already in the board and don't stick. But yeah, made a final of a Pro Tour event, three consecutive semi-finals. We had the 140 for the quarter-finals of the European Championship. That's his best run in a big TV event in the PDC. He's in line to make his debut at Blackpool this year, which is 100. momentous for his career. What was it like for you as a player making your debut at the Winter Gardens? Well, that's playing against Steve Beaton. Wow. And uh, he dispatched me. 10 44. It was over before it begun. But if you're going to lose to someone, you might as well lose to someone like Steve. He was a gentleman in defeat when I've beaten him. 45. And a gentleman as a victor. But I think the Winter Gardens as a venue to play darts is great. I think the practice room is too hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're it's not too the first small. To say I think that. it should be moved to a different part of the building. But again, that's my own opinion. But. It's historic, and I think 140. in a growing game like darts, where you've got new venues and larger venues, having some history and places where it all began is very, very important. Well, I think a lot of the dart players will talk to you about how important Blackpool is to them, as Wilson not quite able to find a second treble 20 that would have given him a dart for the leg and a 2-0 lead, but Hybrex to break straight back. I mean, nothing flash here from Hybrex. Standard route, 20 for tops. Tops. Ooh, 40. Wild Change one. Require, well, that was a 7 iron when he needed an 8 iron. That really one did fly out. And as the temperature gradually rises in this arena, you will get the odd dart like that. James Wilson having to adjust slightly for this one. Now he's got to adjust a lot to double two. Six. Run you require four. Man, I don't think he expected that. I think he expected to hit that second dart in double four. Because it was a per high. Down for double ten. Ooh. In danger of busting that one. Twenty. And maybe that was just Change staring at him two. and made that last dart at the double ten a little bit trickier. But James Wilson. In the madhouse, for 2-0. 20. Well, he rushed that Game second on one. Like the lie, the first one seemed to rush the, the second one, was nowhere first. near, but the third one finds its mark. It is 2-0. He didn't panic, did he? Because after that second one, you'd have thought, where did that come from? But with two legs in, and it looks like Ronnie Hybrex has had the 45. stuffing knock knocked out of him already. Got time to recover. But this is the kind of situation that James Wilson relishes. He likes to front run. He likes to go at his own pace, which is quite quick when he gets going. And he won't look back. I mentioned Wilson making his debut in Blackpool for the 81. World Match Play. It was, of course, Blackpool where he won the World Trophy with the BDO. Won that one, the Zyderdown Masters as well. 140. 2013-2014 helped propel him up the rankings to the number one spot before he switched over to the PDC, picked up his tour card at the start of 2015. You've got to think that his upturn in form in the last year and a half or so may have something to do with spending so much time with Daryl Gurney. It's got to be infectious. I mean, look at the... Rob Cross, Lee Bryant effect. They roomed together. They both played well through the Q school at the beginning of the year. They played brilliantly on the Challenge Tour last year. But it just seems to me that that happens now and again when you've got a stable mate that you really click with. Mm. The confidence exudes into yourself. And I think that's happening with James Wilson and Daryl Gurney. I th I'm not sure how much those, those guys practice rooming together from the same management stable, of course. But when you've got somebody who is on the up, only require 145. You know, it's got some... Mm. Hasn't it? It's mm. got the whole atmosphere 
between the pair of them. And that's got to be a good thing, you would think. And for the 17s. 87. James Rukwai, 138. Well, the Della is the Della. Just like you said there, Dan. There's only one way to go. That ain't it. That isn't it. 78. Ronnie. When he's playing well, hits tops with alarming the regularity. There. And there it is. Well, I think it's James to throw first. Game on. I remember. Ronnie Hybrex. And there it is. Well, I think it's James to throw first. Game on. I remember when Ronnie Hybrex had a really good run at the European Championships. Took a Phil T. What he showed me that day was a resilient, 42. aggressive game that was incredibly watchable. About his brother, and he said, Oh, Ronnie, he's much what better than I am. Mm. And he still firmly believes that, I think. It was his first year in the PDC. 74. Made the semi finals of the European Championship. So the, the European Championship has been the stage. 74. Made the semi finals of the European Championship. So the, the European Championship has been the stage on which both of these guys have produced their best runs to date. Not saying they might not go on and better those runs. What has the House of Hybrex done for Bells and Dogs in the last few years, though? Because remember the first World Cup uh, hosted by the PDC in 2010, Belgium had Rocco Myers and Patrick Buellen as their two representatives. 140. Then all of a sudden the Hybrex come along and they take Belgian Dos into a place that was only ever seen by Eric Claret, in my opinion. So they can pat themselves on the back and give themselves a lot of credit. Because now you've got other people following things like Mike Dedeka, like Dimitri Vandenberg. Yeah, we saw Kenny Nyans make his appearance on the Euro Tour for the first time this year. As well, there is a, a generation of young Belgian darters One queuing up, but that is James Wilson to first maximum. Leaves him six save and a timely one because anything less than the max there. And Ronnie Hybrex really fancy his chances Nine of stealing six. this leg. James requires 65. And levelling up at two apiece. He still has a chance, Hybrex. He's not out of this leg. At 25 for tops. Oh, well, okay. Simple enough, 20 for tops. One dot. 25. Only you require 100. He needed at least one more. Where's he going to go? 19s? Yeah, he's looking down. So 19s it will be. He wants three more of them with this second dart to give himself a shot double. James Wilson comes back for tops. 50. And a two leg advantage. Require 40. Game shot on the fourth. Bang, it's shot it's the Doesn't mess around. I think it's Ronnie to throw first. Game on. And the picture that we saw there just before he threw that dart, it was pure focus from James Wilson and Ronnie Hyde. Well, I mean, all of these guys, yourself included, if you've got those checkouts that are just over 100 and you get two darts at the same bed and you only one of them to go in the treble to give you a dart leg, you back yourself to at least get that dart at some point. If you don't, you that dart at some point. If you don't, you feel like it's a failure. You may hit a treble with your last dart and leave yourself three clear when you return to the board, but you may not get the chance to return to the board. Give yourself the chance 100. at a double, it's simply not good enough. Mm. In a professional 2017 sense, if you don't shoot a double 16 there, it's not good enough because it was proven because James Wilson never won the leg. In previous times, he may have got another shot, but it's a totally different game now, boys and girls. It's lethal. There's a lot of money on the line. 96. People put in the practice and they don't make mistakes. That's, I think that's the difference between the James Wilson of now and maybe three years back. When, in his first 57. PDC season, he was making a lot of mistakes. He was missing doubles. But you can see from his walk on, he's, he's comfortable now. Yeah. 
He uh, just I've, feels at home. I've, I've talked to James about this, and, and he will readily admit 55. that even coming over as a BDO number one, he said he was not prepared for what it was going to be like day in, day out. He knew that if he was going to be making the big TV tournaments, he'd be up against you know, the biggest names ever to have played the game, and it was going to be like something he'd never experienced before. But... He said just the day-in, day-out grind of those leisure centre darts in Wigan and Barnsley and places like that. People are chucking 100-plus averages at you, and you can't afford to make a mistake, any kind of mistake, because you get punished. Those shots like that, you know, you, if you don't give yourself a dart for the leg with a 108 checkout, they're just going to take one out themselves. And he, he wasn't ready for it, and he couldn't understand how he was going to raise his level to be able to do what he's done on occasion over the last few months. But he has found a way to do it. And Ronnie Hybrex find a way to take out 130. It's just got trickier. But that's a great dart. Bullseye. 105. Well, if he'd have hit that bullseye, that would have been a worldly finish because that second dart was nothing short of amazing. Single 20, the double top. A little shift to the right. Is it 4 1? 100. It's not. Ronnie requires 20. LB though. Ronnie Hybrex has got to polish off his 25. 9 and double 8, it will be. That's right in the middle of the 9. That's a good sign. Will it be 3 2? 17. James Wilson does come back for James 10. Requires 20. Problems for Ronnie Hybrex here. 3-1 down to James Wilson. Make James that 4-1. James Wilson, James Wilson has James not been Bickrow particularly first. deadly at taking out Game the big checkout, but he's being allowed back to the board, and he's taking... ...and usually slap bang in the middle of the bed. Agency. There is still a lot of room for improvement in this display from James Wilson, but 4-1 up against a very dangerous opponent in Ronnie Hybrex. And he'll consider the first half of this job. 140. Unfortunately, half a job is not enough. I think looking at this afternoon's session, it wouldn't be unfair of me to say that this was probably the best match of the afternoon. 60. I thought it looked the most likely to produce a top display, but uh, I have to say, I'm not sure whether we'll see anybody surpass the performance level we saw from Jamie Bain earlier. 134. That was excellent. Average just shy of the 100. Had he hit some finishes a couple of darts earlier, he did miss a few doubles, but had he hit a couple more 50. a little bit sooner, we'd have been talking 105, 106 average territory. Jamie, of course, now a stable mate of James Wilson. Yeah. does make you wonder, doesn't it? 128. What MDA have done for James Wilson, what they've done for Daryl Gurney. What are they going to do to Jamie Bain? Well, we Stay tuned, folks. See. Well. 105. Ronnie Uruguay, 99. 99 from Ronnie Hybrex, but no need to do anything fancy here because Wilson not on a finish. So this will do very nicely for double 16. Game yeah, the lovely leg. stuff, Ronnie Hybrex. Ronnie Hybrex. 12 of dart leg, so 99 Ryan, check first. out. Game on. Break straight back for 4-2. Well, 99, it's a difficult check out him. And in a true old-fashioned way, he did it with precision and class. None of the double top, double top stuff going on there. That was just really good, clean stuff. Yeah, it, when we talk about Ronnie Hybrex being an old-school dart player, that's the sort of thing. He, he, he takes the standard old-school routes for things. There's none of this, you know, none of, no sort of fancy new ways of thinking. You can say that's a downside or an upside. You know what we get with Ronnie Hybrex. Old-school, classy darts. None of this uh, treble 18, double 19 stuff that you oh, see Michael Smith doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of this... 97. It's the old... Uh, Rod Harrington, treble 50 tops that he did at the match play. Yeah, I blame Harrington for all this nonsense way back in the day. I blame Harrington and I blame Manley. Well, 
Blame Fancy going for tops lots. bull on a nine daughter. I mean, who does that? Oh! And there we see oh. Ronnie Hybrex moving over to the 18s to make sure he left himself a finish, but firing in a big three treble visit anyway. 55. Ronnie Hybrex. That 1999 checkout might just have galvanized the mindset of Ronnie Hybrex. Because he looks more focused now. He does. Wilson is nowhere in this leg right now. 57. That's the 57 scored, but Wilson needing two trebles just to get to any kind of a finish. That's just not lost his happen. range a little bit, hasn't he? 47. He has, and underlined by straying into the skinny bit of the seven there. So Ronnie Highbreaks to win this one at an absolute canter. 20 for tops. And the rep. 34. Will return, but he is on the comeback trail. His average has now crept up to 88. Seven points clear of James Wilson. 60. Ronnie Iroquois, 40. Double top it is. And all of a sudden, he'll only be one leg behind. Got plenty of time to work with. But he wants to get rid of it now. And that's good, because it doesn't leg. plant the seed of doubt in your mind about hitting your doubles. Game on. He's got rid of it, and he's back in the match. All of a sudden, his demeanour is so different to two legs ago. A bit of purpose in that stride 56. to the back of the stage there, wasn't it? A bit of swagger. Mm. Ronnie Hybrex knows he's in this game now. At 4-1 down, he might have thought it was slipping away from him. Still work to do, though. There you see. 60. Wilson's average is... He's had a poor couple of legs, to be fair, James Wilson. He's lost, lost them both by a considerable distance, and that's dragged his average down. But he's backfiring again now. Second maximum. Well, if you were to show James Wilson these statistics, especially the first nine, because of the scoring power that he actually has, he'll be horrified. But the thing is, he's still 4-3 in front. So 78. All is not lost. Certainly isn't, and just a, a hold of throw here where he's already thrown a 180 in this leg. 90. Interesting thinking there from James Wilson. I don't think Ronnie Hybrex would have ever done that. No. The very un Ronnie like 59. Visit. What this leg has done this to James Wilson and will put him one leg away and it forces Ronnie Hybrex to have the most purple of purple patches to get the W it makes it very unlikely because James Wilson in this leg has been brilliant he has been excellent in this leg and after two very poor legs from James Wilson it shows some 58. mental strength 40. to fight back and put a leg like this in because it looked like Ronnie Hybrex was in the ascendancy but Wilson Surely he can work his way in from there. Too far. Little 10. 20. Not the end of the world, but it's Ronnie Hybrick's turn to have a leg where he's only halfway down from 501. And his opponent having already missed darts for the leg. Has he put a dent in it, though? He wants another one. Gets 140. another one. Just in case. He's required 20. 10 for a 5-3 lead to put him one leg away Game shot on the one leg, leg away he is I think he's running to throw first he's the favourite to go Game on up. and play the favourite of the people here in Austria Mensa Sulevic I noticed in that last leg Dan that the rhythm of James Wilson was quite fast on the scoring but the nearer he got to the doubles the slower he got I don't know whether that's 140. a conscious thing he does I just feel that when, when he gets his rhythm right, he's brilliant. But when it breaks up, his game can break down. 90. And that looks a little bit quick. And you could see there that he's gone the wrong side of that initial first dart. One hundred. I think Ronnie Hybrex knows that he needs two treble visits now to really pile the pressure on. The jam-filled biscuit. No copyright 60. infringement in the commentary box. That's a wow. 
Not sure that the biscuit people have come for him as yet. Is that like jam-filled biscuits in Austria? I've no idea. I'm not sure what the Austrian, Austrian delicacy is. We'll have to ask Mensur. Or the many thousands of RJ rods that are here. Today. Nice, sir. <laughs> what did you put on social media earlier? RJ rods assemble. That's, yeah. Is well, that the name of the done. movie? They have done. They have assembled here in Vienna. And they'll all be here this evening. Roby John, Roxy James, and Rusty Jake for the very first time on the Euro Tour. As Ronnie Heinbrechts looks at the 164, which I don't think he'd go for anyway. Ooh. Well, this could open the door. 78. The last start. That's what you call a good 78. Mm. You hit the treble with the last start. It's a good one. Hit up with the first one. It's a bad one. 100. James Wilson desperately 86. wanted a 140 there. That would have left him 71. But 86 is looking very doable now. Two darts in hand for double 16. Adjustment because he can't see the bed. 70. And that's why good camera Andrew angle Guire shows won. you 111. the obscuring of that double 16. But this is for the match. 111 for James Wilson. The biggest check out he's taken out so far is 62. That was in the very first leg. Trouble 17. He's had trouble with these three dark combos. 91. And it continues. One match Running dart missed by James 60. Wilson. He has been very good at coming back to the board and nailing the double first dart. But will Hybrix allow him back? He may do. Double four. But he Shot doesn't do. Leg. Ronnie Hybrix closes the gap to just one Send leg. This is where Hybrix needs to break. That's a workman-like game, isn't it? Neither guys will remember this game for the right reasons. 100. But sometimes you just got to grind and grind and grind. Well, Hybrex knows if he can produce another 12 dart leg as he did when he started that fight back in the middle of the game, it could well be enough to suddenly make him favourite again. He would throw for the match in the last leg if somehow find a way of winning this one and a ton 40 to start. 100. Well, we do know that the Hybrex boys are good fighters and the averages at 86 and 83. They know they can play better than this, and they have done recently. But sometimes you get embroiled in a game like this where you've just got to find something within yourself what to get over the line. And the fist pump for a ton shows exactly what they're doing right now. Yeah, you can see Ronnie Hybrex, not for the first time, muttering some Belgian curse under his breath 81. after his first and second darts, but set himself with that last one. And he has a real chance now. Bit of a blocker dart. But he finds his way through to the treble 20 again. 100. And he is down to a finish after three visits in this leg. James Wilson under pressure. What he wouldn't give for a third maximum, James Wilson. Oh, but he wants to stay on the 20s. Has to. Oh, 45. James Wilson, it's a criminal error. Criminal error from James Wilson doesn't stay straight, and it means that Ronnie Hybrex is not forced to use the bullseye route. He knows he's got six darts from 161. He's going to stay up top and be smart. Trouble 19 now. 99. That's all right. Because now he has the option of leaving double 16, which he really likes. 100. Well, this Run time James Wilson 62. decided to stay straight, even when he had 95. But 62 points separate Ronnie Hybrex from an 11th leg. Double 16. Wipes his hand on his trousers to make sure. No perspiration. Double 16. Yes, Jonathan it's there. Leg. Ronnie Hybrex. Belgium 5, legs, England 5. First. Game off. Customary fist pump. And we go all the way and James Wilson is sick to his stomach. It was a 62 check out in the very first leg that got James Wilson a break of throw. He has led at every stage from that point. Until now. Where a 62 check out from Ronnie Hybrex to break back. 
has levelled the scores. Throw in for the match in this deciding leg. 121. Look at him, he's getting even more animated. It's like Kim Ibrex up there. We do wonder where Kim got his his aggressiveness from. Well, 57. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. He got it from his brother. A couple of legs have taken more than six visits to the board. The vast majority have taken five or six. There's that 112 data from Ronnie Hybrex in the sixth leg. That just stopped James Wilson getting too far away from him. Had that gone 5-1, you would think it would have been curtains. But Ronnie Hybrex has back battled his way back into this 128 very interesting indeed Hybrex with two huge 125s what did we get for a 135 that's it and the intensity is still there he is mounting the pressure on James Wilson he needs everything and he's not got everything, not in this visit. That means that Ronnie Hybrex has James Wilson right where he wants him. He has never led in this game, Ronnie Hybrex. But double top. Oh, he's 90. This entire leg, he has gone two darts right down the middle, often in the treble, and then one wide, either in the fives or the ones. Well, I'm signalling Wade in the commentary box here. That means he gets that dot again. Ronnie, you require 30. And he does get another dot. He actually gets three more. 30 for the match. Double 15. Can he sneak it in, Dan? Yes, yes he can. can. The match. Ronnie Hybrex. Never in the lead until the very last moment. A last leg decider, and the Belgian is through to the next round to face Mensor Sulevic, the top player from Austria, the former BDO world number one. James Wilson, the jammy dodger, not so lethal biscuit today. Misses beaten by Ronnie Hybrex. We've got two more games for you this afternoon. The Wanderer Wayne Jones takes on Christian Callenger as Callenger looks to join his countryman Zoran Lurchbacker in the second round. But right now, it is Kim Viljanen, the man who has been dominating the Scandinavian tour, taking on the man who has dominated the Eastern European qualifiers for these European tours. He's won every single one of them. It's the Polish champion, Krzysztof Ratajski.